was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we get started, I just want to say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title in the screen, today I got a super special build in store for y'all today. I'm going to be making the inside out score, but this is going to be the exact and best bull bull build when it comes down to NBA 2K23. Now, you can apply this build when it comes down to next and current gen, and I'm telling y'all, we're going to be exact physicals when it comes down to bull bull. We're also going to be able to get the exact play style. Now, we're also going to be able to do a lot of different things on this build. We're able to dribble, shoot, get big man and elite contact dunks. And then when it comes down to the defensive end, I'm telling y'all, you're definitely going to be able to hold your own. So look, before we get any further into today's video, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. And I would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button. It really helps me out. Go ahead and turn on post notifications if you want to be a part of the Rich family. I'm uploading every single day. And last but not least, I would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and commented down TG for thank God as well as where you're tuning in from watching today. And I'm telling y'all, I'll hit y'all back with a response, but let's go ahead and get into the making of this build. So as you can see, we're going to make it under the center position, of course. Now you can't get this height when it comes down to power forwards. Now when it comes down to the height, you got to go with 7'2". For the weight, I'm going to go with 220 just to get the most out of my speed. And then when it comes down to the wingspan, I'm going to go with 7'2". Now for the body shape, I'm going to go with compact over slight. But if you want to go with any other one, you can do so. Like for example, if you want to go with built just to take up the most space. But I think slight or compact is going to be the best option to be like global. Now from here, let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the attributes. So when it comes down to the physicals on every single build, this is how I start out because it gives us a good idea of what the build is looking like. So for example, for the people who already have gym rat, this gives you a plus four towards our physicals. So already when I make this build, I'm going to have a 69 speed. When it comes down to the acceleration, 58. 78 strength 79 vertical with a 94 stamina now if you want to go ahead and drop this to an 86 that's going to put us at a 90 it really comes down to what you want to do but i'm telling y'all both of these are a good option now i wouldn't take away from the height just to get more speed i want to keep it at 72 to be exactly like bobo but from here let's go ahead and check out the finishing so when it comes down to this area Close shot, 64, 79 driving layup, 75 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk with a 94 post control. Now, when it comes down to the playmaking, this is going to allow us to get quick first step because we actually did upgrade our post control. We're also able to get unpluckable. Now, when it comes down to this area, I'm telling y'all, we get 23 badges and look, we get post spin technician. Pro Touch, Dream Shake, both on Hall of Fame. And we get a good amount of Silver Badges, Fearless Finisher, and Slithery. I like Limitless Takeoff. And then when it comes down to Tier 2, we're able to unlock Posterizer and Hall of Fame Back Down Punisher. And then when it comes down to Tier 3, I made this build to where we're able to get Bronze Bully as well as Rise Up and then Silver Fast Twitch. Now from here, let's go ahead and check out the playmaking. So for the pass accuracy, I'm going to go 71, 67 ball handle with a 58 speed with ball. Now we get 11 badges, and look, we get Clamp Breaker on Bronze, also get Quick First Step like I said earlier, Vice Grip on Hall of Fame, and then when it comes down to Tier 3, Unpluckable will be able to get equipped if you do decide to throw extra badges towards this build. Now I think down the road it'll be helpful, but I'm telling y'all, you can go about this making however you want. From here, let's go ahead and check out the shooting. Now for the shooting, I'm gonna go 79 for my mid-range, 85 three-pointer with a 74 free throw. Now I wanted to be able to make this build to where we're able to take it into any game mode. And then for tier 1, I'm happy that we get Agent 3 on Silver, Gold Amped, and then we're also able to get Gold Mini Magician, Space Creator, and Volume Shooter both on Hall of Fame. And then for tier 2, we get Green Machine on Gold. For tier 3, the main badge that I'm looking at is Deadeye on Silver as well as Limitless Range. Now, if you want to make any changes towards the finishing or the offensive end, you can do so. But I'm telling y'all, what I went ahead and did was I took Bobo's exact stats and I just upgraded them to my own liking to play more like him. Now, from here, let's go ahead and check out the defense. So, as you can see, we get 20 badges for the interior defense. I go 75. We're 7 2, so I'm just going to leave my perimeter defense at a 35. 87 for our block, 70 offensive rebound with the 76 defensive. Now, with the 20 badges, look. 
We get Challenger, Glove, and Interceptor all on Bronze when it comes down to Tier 1. So these are only going to take up 3 badges. Then when it comes down to Tier 2, we get Silver Box Out Beast, Gold Chase Down Artist, and then Bronze Post Lockdown. Now for Tier 3, this is going to make a huge difference because we're able to get Silver Anchor as well as Rebound Chaser. And especially when it comes down to our strength, this is really going to help us out when it comes down to defending on the inside. Now I already have a build with a strength similar to this and I'm telling y'all it's definitely helpful especially when you pair up the right badges with it. From here let's go ahead and check out the takeovers. So we get the sharpshooting, the playmaking, we also get the rim protecting which makes a huge difference and then we get the post scoring. So for my best interest of this build, if you want to be able to shoot better, I would go with limitless range and that gives us the potential to get a 99 plus 3 pointer when our takeover is activated and you buy your own boost. Now if you want to be able to get an 80 plus ball handle, I would pick the playmaking takeover and that's the first one that I'm going to go with. Second, I would really go ahead and pick paint intimidation just to help out on the defensive end. Now again, you can flip flop these or even go with the post scoring. Now I think these are going to be the two best takeovers for this build. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm getting the most out of the playmaking and the defensive end. Let's go ahead and check out the build name to make sure that we made it correctly. And I'm telling y'all, we get three nice comparisons. And as y'all can see together, we have created the inside out scorer. And this is going to be the exact Bobo build. And with the gameplay, y'all already seen what this build can do. Now consider this, with your takeovers as well as buying your own boost, if you run with teammates that also do have Floor General on Hall of Fame, you have the potential of getting a plus 19 when it comes down to boost. So think about it for a second. A 99 plus standy dunk, post control, three pointer block as well as with an 80 plus ball handle that's going to make a huge difference on this build from here let's go ahead and check out the badge layouts so when it comes down to the finishing for tier one i think i went with a perfect setup so look we went with silver fearless finisher and slithery and then from there we get bronze limitless takeoff as well as hall of fame pro touch now especially on the inside you're going to be able to finish just out of tier one when it comes down to tier two we get back down punisher and hall of fame Posterize your paired up with that and then when it comes down to tier 3, look, we get bully when it comes down to using up our 5 batch points and then we're able to core gold rise up. Now when it comes down to the finishing for a bull bull build, this is definitely solid. Now when it comes down to the offensive end, I think I made this build complete, especially when it comes down to what we're able to do. Now for tier 1, look, on the shooting, we get agent 3 on silver, gold amped mini magician on gold then we're also able to get bronze slippery off ball and then i like the fact that we're able to get hall of fame space creator and volume shooter now a good amount of badges went towards tier one and then when it comes down to tier two we get gold green machine now honestly i think when it comes down to the finishing and the shooting you can't get a better setup when it comes down to a 7-2 build from here let's go ahead and check out the playmaking so when it comes down to tier one i went with clamp breaker on bronze and also silver special delivery now i wanted to be able to maintain my dribbling but be able to dish out the ball when it comes down to alley-oops then for tier two for my core badge i went with hall of fame vice grip now this badge is going to be clutch we're also able to get gold quick first step and then for another badge that i'm going to go with is going to be bronze bailout now when it comes down to the setup of the playmaking we have everything that we want and down the road if you add extra badges towards this build we're going to be able to get unpluckable on gold and i'm telling y'all that's going to make a huge difference so with the defensive end the three badges on tier one challenger glove as well as interceptor now this is a solid setup especially for a 7-2 build for tier two i'm gonna go with box out beast on silver gold chase down artist and then bronze post lockdown now when it comes down to tier three I went with core anchor and then bronze rebound chaser now if you want to change up any of these badges you can do so but we're able to easily defend at the rim the best that we can we pick the most important badges now when it comes down to the finishing we're going to be able to do everything that we want finish get contact dunks and also even be able to post up and the main thing about this build is that we're still able to get bully on bronze now when it comes down to the shooting like i said we have everything that we need tier one is super overpowered and then we're still able to get silver limitless range then when it comes down to the playmaking you need to be more skilled when it comes down to this area but i already showed y'all from the gameplay what we can do and i'm going to go ahead and be sure to make this build and bring y'all gameplay and then when it comes down to the defensive in like i said we're gonna be able to hold our own so with all that being said y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new and i would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button you can be my 5,000 subscriber 
And from here, man, go ahead and comment down TG for thank God as well as where you're tuning in from watching today. And I would appreciate it if all y'all went ahead and smashed that like button. Turn on post notifications if you want to be a part of the Rich family. Let me know what y'all thought about this build in the comments. And with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.